Come back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a summary for chapter 9 Simple Harmonic Motion or SHM. Okay, so this is the pendulum where this pendulum we have the O. O is when x equals to 0. Okay, so at this point, at this point O where x equals to 0, and at the maximum displacement x equals to positive A. So this is the amplitude, and on the left hand side x equals to negative a okay so this is a negative amplitude okay so if for one complete oscillation when we say one complete oscillation if we start from o okay we must go swings to positive a and then from a we will swings back to o and then from o we will swings to negative a after that from negative a we will go back to the equilibrium position okay so if we sketch the graph we will get o is the equilibrium position then we go to the maximum displacement amplitude and then we go back to equilibrium position negative a and then equilibrium position so if we start from if we start from equilibrium position the graph that we will get is x equals to a sine omega t graph okay if let's say we start from positive amplitude for one complete oscillation for one complete oscillation if we start from maximum amplitude okay it will go to o and then negative a and then go back to the equilibrium position and then we must go back to the equilibrium position so if we sketch the graph amplitude zero negative amplitude zero and then go back to positive amplitude okay so from the graph we know that if we start from the maximum amplitude this graph will give us x equals to a cos omega t so it actually depends on where is the position you start okay when t goes to zero where is the starting point okay so the relationship between x v a here is if we if the displacement x is maximum we write it as a a is the amplitude if the questions give us with t and also with x so if let's say the questions give us t we will use x equals to a sine omega t it actually depends on where is your starting point so we assume that our point is start from the equilibrium position so x will equal to a sine omega t okay so what is the relationship between the displacement and the velocity we know that the velocity is equal to dx over dt so we differentiate Okay, so A, we copy back A, differentiate sine, you will get cos, you differentiate omega t, you will get omega. So omega, I will bring forward, okay, and then I will copy back omega t. So the velocity, after differentiate, I will get A omega cos omega t. Okay, next one, if you want to find the acceleration, A is equal to dv over dt, so we differentiate, okay, we differentiate just now. A omega, A omega, we just copy back. Differentiate cos if sine, if you differentiate cos. Okay, you differentiate omega t, you will get omega. So here, omega will become omega square. And then you copy back omega t. Okay, so after differentiate dv over dt, acceleration will equal to negative A omega square sine omega t. Okay, so this is how we get from displacement to velocity, from velocity to acceleration. So usually we will use this equation when t is given. Okay. So if the questions give us the displacement, okay, for example, x equals to 1 cm, 2 cm. So for this case, we must use the velocity equation equals to omega square root a square minus x square. Okay. For acceleration, we will use a equals to negative omega square x. So it depends on the questions whether they give you t or they give you the value of x. When x maximum, we write as amplitude a. So when v maximum, v maximum is at when uh, x equals to 0. So this is when v maximum and v equals to 0 at amplitude. Okay, v is equals to 0 at amplitude. 
However, for acceleration, acceleration is equal at equilibrium position, but it is maximum at the amplitude. Okay, so this one you must know. Okay, so when we substitute V maximum, so mean maximum is when x equals to x equals to zero. So we substitute inside here when x equals to zero, your V you will get A omega. Okay. Next A maximum. A maximum is at when x equals to amplitude okay when x equals to amplitude so we substitute a into the equation negative omega square x so we substitute x equals to a so therefore we will get a maximum equals to a omega square okay so this is how we get a maximum okay next one is the kinetic energy so as we know that kinetic energy is equal to half and v square Okay, half mv square. So if let's say we have uh, the equations of v, we just substitute half m. So we just substitute v here, a omega cos omega t, we just substitute here. Okay, and then remember to square. So we will get k, kinetic energy equals to half m omega square a square cos square omega t. Okay, and the potential energy is u equals to half m omega square a square sine square omega t. Okay. So finally, the energy, okay, energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. Okay, so if we total up kinetic energy and potential energy, we will get E equals to half m omega square a square. Okay, next, if the questions give us the displacement x, so our equation similar half m v square, so we just substitute v equals to omega square root a square minus x square and then remember you square so after you square it up we will get half m omega square bracket a square minus x square for potential energy u will equals to half m omega square x square and if we total up e total is equal to k plus u so if you total up kinetic energy plus potential energy so we will get e total equals to half m omega square a square okay so similar for k maximum okay so k maximum k maximum is when when x equals to zero so because v maximum so k maximum is at the equilibrium position k equals to zero at the amplitude because at the amplitude your pendulum it must stop eh? okay so this is a turning point where the pendulum must stop and then turn back okay so therefore at the amplitude the kinetic energy must equal to zero the velocity must equal to zero so if you substitute x equals to zero at here okay x equals to zero at here meaning that our k maximum we will get half m omega square a square Okay, so similar for potential energy, potential energy maximum is at the amplitude. So when we substitute amplitude x equals to a, we substitute x equals to a, u maximum also you will get equation half m omega square a square. Okay, so meaning that if let's say at maximum, the value that we get is usually equals to half m omega square a square. Okay, so let us see the graph. Huh? Okay, so if let's say this is the graph and this is the amplitude positive A and a negative A. For kinetic energy, kinetic energy maximum at the equilibrium position. So this is the kinetic energy and it's equal to zero at the amplitude. Okay, so this is the graph for kinetic energy. Okay, so I label it as K. Okay, next one is the potential energy. Potential energy is maximum at amplitude but it is zero at the equilibrium position so therefore potential energy is a smiling face okay so i label it as u okay so anyhow the total energy for kinetic energy plus potential energy the total energy is this red line okay where total energy will always equal to k plus u okay k plus u meaning that potential energy plus kinetic energy Okay, so for example, let's say the total energy, the total energy is equal to 10 joule. Okay, so if let's say at here, potential energy is equal to zero, meaning that at the same point, at the same position, your kinetic energy at that moment will equal to zero. So U plus K, 10 plus zero, you also get 10. Okay, so if let's say at here, 
Okay, if let's say the kinetic energy is equal to 7, so at this position, we know that U should equal to 3 eh? because 7 plus 3 at the end, the total energy will equal to 10 joule. Okay, so this is the uh, summary for, for SHM. Okay, so next we go to the next part. Period of simple harmonic motion. Period for simple harmonic motions, we have two types. The first one is the spring. The second one is the pendulum. Okay, so the equations for the period is equal to 1 over F. Or we can, we know that omega equals to 2 pi over T. So therefore, our period, we also can write as 2 pi over omega. Okay, and the unit for the period is equal to second okay so there are two types of uh, period of simple harmonic motions so the first one is the spring so the period for the spring we write as t equals to 2 pi mass over the spring constant k okay so if you compare with t equals to 2 pi over omega therefore we know that omega will equal to third k over m okay next one for pendulum pendulum period is equal to 2 pi L over G. L is the length of the string. G is the gravitational acceleration. Okay, so again, if you compare with T equals to 2 pi over omega, where omega will equal to third G over L. Okay, so that's all for this chapter. Thank you for watching. Bye.